ladies and gentlemen of Meetsy69, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to look at the Chiri. Yes, the tier 7 Japanese medium tank. And you know what? This tank is better than you think. Um, a lot of people don't like the tank. It is paper. The tank is absolutely paper. No armor whatsoever. But what it does have is, for an autoloader, a very, very good gun. So we're going to have a look at the stats, and then we're actually going to get into some live gameplay. And a tank like this could go horribly wrong. I could absolutely noob it. Get in a tier 8, do zero damage, you never know. But I like that because even though I'm saying that a tank is very, very good, um, I might not perform very well on the battlefield. And I like doing that, especially with things like tanks that people think that OP. Um, because I'm not just picking out an OP game and showing you, look, this tank is OP. I'm actually showing you things that could happen uh, if you are driving these tanks. I might have a, you, you never know, I could even have a five, 5k game in this tank. You never know when it is a live gameplay. So, as you can see, there is no armor whatsoever. 85 millimeters is the best you're going to get. Now, the DPM 2605, which I think is respectable, uh, it is an auto loader uh, and a very good auto loader. So the magazine is only nine seconds long. You've got three shells and the, you have a one second reload in between each shell. So very, very good. You're constantly firing. You fire three shells and then you've only got nine seconds to wait for your whole magazine reload and then you fire three shells. So it's pretty good. Um, the penetration, 163 on your AP, uh, 195 on your premium AP, and 42 on your HE. The average uh, damage, you got 160 alpha on one AP, 135 on the other AP, and 200 on your HE. So if you can get that HE out, you're doing sort of 600 damage in around like two seconds. Uh, so not bad at all. Your aim time 3.3, not the best. And the dispersion 0.326, which again, not the best. Uh, but it does have 10 degrees of gun depression and the speed is 46 kilometers per hour. So not only is it a paper tank, it's quite a tall tank. It's not the fastest of tanks anyone will pretty much be able to HE you, which you're probably going to find out when I have some, uh, when I have the live gameplay. So you might hear some crackling sound because as I'm playing, I'm talking as well. So I might cover up the, uh, the microphone, but I'll try to do that as at least as possible. So if we're up against tier six, even though they will be able to penetrate you, um, it shouldn't be too bad. And luckily we are, but a tank like this, even though you're top tier, um, because you are uh, a tank with no armor and you're, you've got a very, very big tank, um, even the tier sixes are able to pen, uh, penetrate you. And that's what makes it a bit more difficult uh, to play. So I'm going left. No, I'm not. I'm going to go right because I want to follow my team and I don't want to get caught off guard. Now, the worst thing that can happen, me go left and I get bullied by a bunch of tier sixes. That's like being at school. You're like, you're sixth form when you're in college or, or at school you're in year 11 the last year and you get bullied by a year nine or year eight um so all the team are with me um you can't play this tank so aggressive because of the armor profile as i've said uh but if you come up against the tog here um again a uh, bit of a bit of a struggle penetrating the uh, the pharaoh there um but it looks like i'm not going to push so far because there's only two tanks spotted i know base a has been uh, capped but i just need to be very very careful because there are just two tanks around here at the moment uh i need to move with my team so if i could push with my team then we could just bully these guys and seeing as the tog is not looking we can now bully him uh he does have good dpm but as long as you don't look at me not a problem and now he he is going to die but i'm not going to pull out yet i'm not going to pull out until he's actually died and then i can pull out now we are still looking at the mini map because there are a couple of tank destroyers that have not been spotted so you have to always be mindful of that 
That was uh, stupid there. Um, so yeah, there's one tank destroyer there. It's now a six versus four. Uh, so this is, I mean, you've got one tank there, one tank there. I might get spotted as I cross here. But now we're just going to turn around. We're just going to turn around with the, uh, with the guys. There is the Nashorn. So you know what? We're going to go for it. We want to ignore that guy. We might get shot, which we do. But if I can get behind these guys, I... Hey, hello. Uh, so now we are going to get spotted, obviously, and we're going to get shot. So if I just take the, uh, the shots off, back up, and I don't think my team are with me. Well, they are, and uh, but they're not shooting. But no problem. He is now dead, and now we can push on and just clear these guys here. So see you later. Shot all... I uh, didn't even get the final shot, but, you know, we made that pretty easy, to be fair. Not not, uh, not too difficult to uh, to get this game. However, we still have a full hit point SMV. Now, he does actually have armor, so I might struggle. Yeah, I'm going to struggle to penetrate him there. As you can see, can't penetrate anything. I'll let him have that. Uh, unfortunately, we can't get the... Uh, so we're just going to back up. There's no reason for us to die, if I'm honest. We're just going to back up. If he's going to push forward, then, of course, we will uh, try and take the shots. And he's not looking. We might be able to get some penetrations. We get one more shot. We get one more shot. So you can see you're not going to bounce anything. You're not going to bounce a single thing in the tank. But the gun... I mean, I definitely run it with calibrated shells because you do need that penetration. You, you definitely need that pen. Uh, but the tank is better than people think. Honestly, it is much better than people think uh, of this tank. You know, we, second damage there, second top damage, not too bad. Um, and well played to that SMV on the enemy team. He uh, he almost carried. So do we have one more? Six minutes for the... Re yeah, do you know what? Let's have one more game. And hopefully I get wrecked, but... You know, it's not a tier 8 game. It is another tier 6 game. So that does help us. So always look at the enemy team. Uh, so we've got three mediums and a light tank. The enemy, two mediums and a light tank. So we are going to go with our mediums. Now, on this game, you have to be very careful. They have a smasher. Now, the smasher, even though you've got quite a few hit points, uh, he can deal a big amount of damage. And he can shoot you almost anywhere with that HE. So again... Do pay attention and be very, very mindful of where you are going to sit your tank. So I am, tr I'm pretty guessing that a couple of their mediums will come this uh, this way. Uh, to be, they should, but if they do come this way, they might meet all of our teams. So you can see the couple of guys there. They are rushing to base A, which means the T71 is probably just going to be ripped apart. Now I'm not going to stay up here. I was hoping to get some side shots, but unfortunately, none of our team have gone to base c so we've got no choice really to become this uh, this way but the types uh, the t71 sorry clearly he's not going to last very long and he is going to die and uh, a very very painful death so should we just go and get rid of him there's one shot don't take any shots we don't need to take any shots at this point and this guy is about to die can we ammo rack him no we can't we can't even penetrate him but we are probably going to take a shot here from this guy as i said it's a very tall tank which like there other tanks we would probably be able to hide but uh, because this tank is so tall we can't but it does have that gun depression which will help out now no idea what that ac sentinel is doing there um but again as i've said about the reload it's very very good the reload is very good and you, it feels like that you are just constantly uh firing literally constantly firing now as long as we don't have the smasher come out we, we, sh we should have this. We should have this game. He's now a one-shot. Is he going to run away? Hopefully, he's going to run away. I've got one more shell. Can we get the shot? Oh, very lucky. Do you, know, oh, do you know what? I should have capped that base. I don't know why I didn't. That was a bit silly. And we get a bounce, ladies and gentlemen. We get a very nice bounce, luckily. Now, I really want to kill that Sentinel because, of course, he's a one-shot. He's a gun. He doesn't seem very good. Uh, oh, do you know what? I didn't even mean to shoot that. Uh, but we actually wasted some hit points there, and we didn't really need to. So we're just going to reset. We're just going to sit there patiently waiting. Is he going to come up? It is a five versus four, so I don't want to bleed any more hit points. I don't want to bleed any more hit points that is uh, that I need to. But if the, there goes that guy. So let's just have a look. Look at your surroundings. So the tiger's here. He is full hit points. I could go with the tiger. 
I could go with the Tiger now, but I want to get the higher ground at this point. And I want to try to see if I can get some shots. There we go. Missed the shot. GG. And just get a bit more damage. God's sake. So we only pen twice. Now I'm going to go back this way. Or do I go? I think the Tiger's got that. I think the Tiger's got that. Is this guy can shoot me? I really want to be careful of the Smasher, but I think the Smasher is pretty much not here. I'm spotted, which I'm going to get shot probably. He misses. Great. And are we going to get one more? No, we don't. So there's a Smasher. And at this point, I am thinking that I need to move. I definitely need to move because the Smasher is going to probably come around. But do you know what? I just want to go not here. He shoots me. GG. I can't pen him. GG. So we, now we are just going to wait. And hopefully the Smasher doesn't come around this corner right now. Hopefully the Smasher... Oh, he's over there. The Smasher's miles away. Now, to be honest, this isn't looking very good. So I think I need to get away. I think I need to run away. The smash is going to come around this side, and I should have probably gone a long time ago, but it's now a three versus two, and you can see how quickly a game can change. How quickly. So the smasher is actually at now base B. So I need to go and kill this guy. I really need to kill this guy. He's a must. He's like a one-shot, and I really want to kill this guy. Um, but I don't want the smasher to come after me. Do I climb up this spot here? and go for him is he going to be able to see me uh and i bounce again jesus christ this isn't looking good this isn't looking good we need to do something come on tiger come and help me do something go kill someone i need to reset my camo and come in from a different angle so this is the only thing when you're playing it live like everything could go wrong everything ah there's a smasher Whew. I got away from that. I got away. So I'm going to come around. Now, the Tiger is capping base, and he clears him. Very, very good. We needed that. Now, am I going to be able to get a shot on the Smasher? But we need to now work together. To win this, we have to work together. And I don't think now I'm going to be able to get there in time. Oh, my God. What an absolute tool. What a noob. What an absolute noob. I really did not perform well. I really did not perform well in this game. And hopefully the Tiger can pull off the victory. One more shot from the Tiger. Come on, Tiger. You can do it. If not, it's going to be on me. And I can't even get up here. Come on, Tiger. Don't die on me. Do not die on me. Run away. Run away. The Tiger deserves the kill. But hopefully he doesn't sacrifice himself and die. Don't do it, Tiger. There we go. So that was actually very, very bad gameplay from me. Um, but again, it is that is what a live uh, what, that is what a live gameplay is all about. You know, we still done eighteen hundred damage, which isn't the best, uh, and we still got the victory. So that game won't show it, but the jury is still better than you think, and definitely it is worth the grind. Let me know your thoughts on the cheery guys. I'm Meaty69. I hope you enjoyed my OP gameplay, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.